Yeah, so today I'm back at Chelsea Motorhomes at uh, Wellington and we're just going to look at some of the new Swift range. So the Auto Trail last week, Swift this week. So we're just going to have a little whip round and see what they got. Just going to start with this little van conversion first. Select 55395. Six meter van. Electric step. So this is obviously a van, six meters. Makeup bed here. Just gonna have a little look around. So I'm just sat at the back of the van now and gonna have a quick look around. So we've got a nice big oven there. Just looking up through and I'm checking out all the uh, all the cupboards on the top here. Big cupboards, nice catches again, back to the catches, nice cupboard space up along here. We've got a little magazine, sort of little magazine holder here in the, with the Swift logo on it. Nice little lights here. We've got a USB double socket there. Obviously, charging your phone up or sitting in your lounge, your bed. It's a Thetford Triple X. See what we've got down here. We've got a nice bit of cupboard space down here. They've got a nice uh, fold out, pull out um, cutlery drawer there. And that one. Sink's quite huge actually. Nice big sink, adjustable tap. Look. Now I'm just going to move back so we can get a little look inside the bathroom. There's the bathroom. We've got the light on. And what have we got? It's like a step-in shower cubicle. Here's the curtain, just here on the right-hand side, and there's the shower head up there, the shower head. There's a nice vent up the top, fly screen on it, nice towel. We've got a little uh, cabinet up there. Opens up. Oh, and this has got the actual, yeah, it's got a drop down sink, tucks away nice and neatly. And tap up there, and obviously, you've got a separate shower hose, toilet control there. Let's have a look in this wardrobe, nice wardrobe there. Looks like it's got a little table tucked away in there. That you can put at the back, just to fit on the floor. So it's got a TV or um, kitted up for a TV, TV antenna, Vision Plus unit up there. So nice uh, hanging rail up on there. Just checking out the embossment on the seats. Nice big skylight in the front. And I'll swing around. And there's all the oinet ready, trumer, blown air, all the controls up here, and back down through the van. Next one, the 59195. So let's have a look at this one. Oh, this has got a table. This looks nice. We've got the table layout with a couple of belted seats there again on the Fiat manual gearbox on this one sort of different display up on there and a skylight at the front nice skylight up there as well letting a lot of light in above the table little adjustable rail on there for the table looking back down through the van again Come down through the van, and then I'm gonna. So I'm at the back now. I'm gonna spin around. So the fridge is up, sat a lot higher in this one. 
It's up at the back here. A fridge up there. That must be the wardrobe down below. Nice big wardrobe with a little table again. Looks like a uh, like a narrow or a kind of bed. I think this is quite a tight sort of tight of bed in this one. Got a nice uh, Swift logo embossed on the seat. Lounge area and very similar storage. Storage above the cooker. Same uh, set for a triple X. Same kind of sink arrangement as the last time. Slightly different covered layout, cutlery drawer there. Basically, this ah, oh, this makes up into a bed as well. This makes up into a bed as well. Yeah, I can see that. That looks like it flips up this work surface, and there's a sponge in there, so it looks like it comes across and makes up into a bed here. Yeah, that's what that does. So that's a 184 select. I'm gonna wrap it on round. So now we've got some of these compacts. Select compact C500 next. Slightly different wheels on these ones. They're a little bit uh, matty for a minute. Yeah, so this is the Compact 500. I'm gonna check out that. Right, we'll check out this little Compact then. Very nice. Very nice. Select Compact on the seats. Again, two forward facing. Uh, the captain's seats, air swivel around that on the on the table, skylight up on the top again, cupboard space above the table, some little pop in here, little cupboards up there, I'm going to spin around, and again this has got like a rear lounge, this looks quite tasty, rear lounge, I can see right down on there on the bottom there's a three pin plug and a couple of uh, USB sockets just under there and then uh, this nice work surface, a beautiful working surface here that flips up on the end to extend your work surface drawers here, fridge down below plenty of cupboard space up the top again Oh, nice little uh, plate. So it looks like it's got a uh, plate rack in here. A couple of little racks up there. Wow. Microwave up on the top. Setford. Look at the back, little compact, nice cushions. So they come with these like coppery style cushions and a bit of uh, tartan on the front there. Check them out. Yeah, so just looking back up through the van again, it's got all these lovely carpets, and obviously, this makes up into the bed. This all makes up, and there's storage underneath. So there's plenty of storage under there. Goes right back in under the rear seats as well. And then we have a little cupboard here, which is quite handy. There's a nice big hanging space up there. Looks like they all come with these Vision Plus antennas fitted. Very nice. Microwave. And then we'll come back around this way and just uh, open the door there and come into the bathroom area of this compact. And again, it's got like a wet room style floor on it, um, curtain on there. 
bit similar to the Auto Trail, where they're doing the uh, little uh, coloured splashbacks and a very sort of jazzy cupboard as well up here. If I can open it, there we go. Nice little cupboard up there. It's all very nice actually. It's all very colourful. Nice deep sink. A lot of these motor rooms have very low sinks. So I like a, a nice deep sink like that. Yeah, lovely. Deep sink. Plenty of water to splash about in. Lovely. Skylight. Splendid. So yeah, on the entry door, there's all the panel up there again. And I'm just gonna pan down over the door. So there's a window in the door going down to a little uh, waste bin at the bottom. Right, we'll move on to the next one, see what's next. Select 205. Outside. There's obviously the gas locker. Gas locker there. Oh, locked. might be locked. Right, so now I'm going to have a look at this new Contiki because they've got the new Contiki here, which is 79295. 764. With logo, I think that lights up, is it? Being in the door. Alright, well, come on in. So massive lounge here. And it looks because this has got the higher roof, it's got a really high roof at the front, so it makes it feel really spacious. We've got the vent up in the top, moving forward. Got the nice big skylight up there. Um, we're coming down now, so look at these uh, incredible seats. Got the nice little uh, light up there, the plug socket there. Both sides, both sides. And little switchable plug sockets. It's got really nice velour seats, or um, leatherette seats. Carpeted all the way through. Very nice plush carpets. It's got all the, um, still got the paper on there, look, the protection. It was nice, keep it all nice and new. Ah, look, under there, USB tucked away under the seat. Very neat. Both sides. Yeah, there's the other side, USB tucked away under the seat. these sort of like proper loungy style seats. I don't know, do they? Oh, they sort of magnetize, magnetize on. Just sort of sit there, I don't know. I don't know. But, um, let's have a sit and see how it feels. Oh yeah, it feels nice. It feels very nice. I'm sat in the lounge area, so looking back at the door, I've got all the Contiki that will go up on the door there. It's all very swish. And uh, what have we got up here? We've got the nice big control panel with all this very nice uh, plush. 
um, bumped into the PR guy for Chelsea Motorhomes. He's uh, come over to see what I'm doing. He doesn't really want to be, I'll, I'll catch you just in the in the limelight there. He's just in the limelight. So we're having a little bit of a, a chat discussing motorhomes and uh, uh, what we require <laughs> and uh, cameras and all sorts of stuff like that. So so yeah, I, I was just sort of explaining to him that I literally like to sit in, this, in, in a motorhome and just sort of like get the feeling of what it's going to be like when you're actually sat in it on a campsite getting the vision and straight away i'm sort of like sat here in the uh, passenger seat now looking outside of this um contiki and uh, again massive window over there kitchen window up there getting some good vision and um looking down through the motor and it's got a really nice feel it's got an incredible feel and it feels really modern they've got the uh, vela trim around the window that nice splash backy sort of like um plastic around the kitchen area window move on up so the oh massive sink i'll just um yeah well we'll go in there and uh, oh so i'm just checking out the lounge area and these beautiful cushions look look at the incredible luxurious cushions they've got in here got some nice little gold trim on there and um they've got an in an extra work surface it flop pops up look it folds up uh, I'm not gonna mess around too much with the table this has got a cable system on this table by the looks of things this there this, this yeah look we'll open the table it's only a cable in it I think so yeah so that moves around look table moves around beautiful table I don't know whether that sort of makes up a bit of a but um and then that flips up so it makes a really huge workspace in the kitchen area and what have we got there then i don't know what that is oh oh that switch looks like an adjustable table so that makes up into a bed doesn't it that makes up into a bed so it's got an electric table pretty swish nice back into the kitchen area and a couple of space that looks like the infill for the sink and stuff in there a couple of drawer and the microwave up there this has got the Dometic fridge and this one yeah it's an open both access point fridge so you can open it both ways I like that one big storage compartment at the bottom of the fridge and there's a step up to the bedroom area but they've got a nice big duvalet gravity luxe like luxury comfort innovation beautiful mattress look into there just being nosy i think i think the um the heating system's under there so it's probably an access door from the side i'm just have a we'll just have a quick rip round. they got a little um they got a little shelf there controls up here oh little uh, little little vanity unit and a mirror it's quite sweet looks like this is television point up in the top corner coming around there and they've got this like vela effect Around the windows, the headboard, plugs up there, switches, lights. So let's open the bathroom and see what we got. Wow, nice big shower sat at the back in a kind of like marble effect. Uh, little uh almost like a courtesy light in that uh, little window there for you to soap uh, uh, it's all it's all done out really nice and there is a cabinet there a little look around see what we got in here A little sink sink unit there little corner triangular shaped sink pretty nice 
I need storage under there for toilet rolls, cleaning equipment, stuff like that. Nice, and another little cube, another little uh, storage compartment just down there. And on that side, got the uh, towel ring again up there, toilet roll holder. Just gonna look down through this one. It looks a really nice bit of kit. I do like the, the roof, roof height at the front of this motorhome. Gives a lot of space, a lot of space. Yeah, amazing. Very, very homely feeling. So is that sink. I'm just gonna come around to that bed again so you can get an aspect of the bed. Looks sort of wide as well. I, I, we always sort of say about these um, offset beds where they can be a bit narrow, but it doesn't look too bad. There's a bit of a, a chop off on it on this side, but basically it looks a fairly good size bed. Check out the floor. They've got this sort of like tile effect on the floor. It's a beautiful great. Oh, so we missed this bit. We missed this one. Hang on. Oh, there we go. There's a mirror, big mirror wardrobe. It just it makes it really light in here. So we're just going to open that door now and just check out. So a huge, great hanging space in there with um, some nice shelves at the bottom, shoe storage, kind of stuff like that. Yeah, all in all, very, very swish. Just have a look at the exterior. Looks like there's a locker on the side there. Two point three one four EBHP. And there she is. So the two oh five, this compact two oh five, because I missed the interior of this one. So I'm just gonna jump in the interior of this one because this has got a nice. We start our first motor. I'm at a transverse bed, and uh, yeah, I'm kind of like love it absolutely. So in I come, see the transverse bed, and I'm kind of like yeah, that is amazing. Yeah, our first motor I'm at a transverse bed. I'm just coming in this way. So I'm getting excited about this transverse bed. So I'm, I'm going to do the bed area first. They've got a beautiful head headboard on here, that. And uh, lovely cupboard space up around the top. And a beautiful little window over there. Du they're using all these like duvelets now, which are, this looks like a really nice mattress. I think our first little CI karaoke had quite a thin mattress on it, but this looks, Absolutely. Well, it's 10 years down the line now, so the technology in mattresses and duvalet, absolute luxurious. Um, so we've got a little uh, wardrobe in there, and the same kind of configuration for the uh, the cooker. We've got an oven there and the big super sized sink. That is a massive sink as well. It looks really nice. Absolutely amazing sink. Fridge down below. Uh, you've got little steps going up into the onto the bed area. Looks like we've got some little bit of electrics down here. Below the bed, we've got a nice um, three-pin socket there, a couple of USBs, light switch there. Right, I'm just gonna swing round so the bathroom. And wow, this is a far cry from the old karaoke, I must admit. Nice motorhome, love it. That, that compactness of it. Big sink again, then deep sinks. Nice retro style bathroom again. That splash back. Amazing. Looking back up through at the lounge area. Um, this has got the microwave, we're just having a quick sweep round microwave up there and a nice big storage cupboard above the kitchen area with this plate rack, a couple of little uh, bottle racks up there and stuff and uh, 
don't know what that's all about. Anybody know? Fresh water and wastewater little switches. Don't know. Don't know what that's all about. In the comments, no score. And yeah, a little um, again, two belted seats. Nice embossment on there. And then luxurious cushions again. Checking the outside out, and this uh, there's a lady here. She's just opened the cupboard here. So, oh my God, look at that! Yeah, so we've got a massive storage. Here. So this bed, the bed arrangement above the storage area, that is incredible. That's what I do love about these uh, little compacts. Now, yeah. look at the storage in there. That's amazing. Check out this exterior. I'm absolutely loving this little uh, compact here. It's amazing, absolutely amazing. That is an amazing little motor around. Beautiful. <laughs>